1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. We'll stay and watch the car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Excuse me, sir? I was wondering if he might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? ¡Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you.
freeze. I said freeze! The only reason I've taken on this mission is to get closer to my own objective. No matter what happens, I can't let anyone figure that out. Of course, hiding in the shadows isn't my style. I'll have to reveal myself to him and offer advice once in a while. So I see you've managed to arrive at the village on time. Yes, but nobody remembered to roll out my red carpet. The villagers there are all being controlled. They automatically attack any intruders. Ring the church bell. That should quiet them down for a while. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like they're good, obedient boys and girls. Unfortunately, time is not a luxury we have. Gather as much information as you can about the parasites and finish off this little tour. Sattler. Where's everyone going? Bingo? discovered by the Illuminados. You must be talking about that vagrant Spaniard. So where is he now? He's held captive in an abandoned house located northeast of the village. Until he recovers the sample, we can't let him die. You don't need to remind me. Luis, Sarah. And I thought I was high maintenance. Don't you think? <clears throat> oh, you're 
Not like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? humans. Let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Wake up. Ay, uh, ay, ay. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Eh? Now, what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not done. Do something, cop! After you! Now! Got something that might interest you. <laughs> You 
still carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. Same blood.
¡Rápido! 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 ¡Usa los músculos! ¡Rápido! ¡Apúrense! ¡Por aquí! ¡Rápido! ¡Rápido! ¡Por aquí! ¡Por aquí! that dog. <laughs> Ashley. Don't come! Hey, take it easy. No! Get away! Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. So, we kidnap the President's daughter in order to give her our power, and then send her back. No. Leon, I think they shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift. When I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your mind. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. <laughs> you okay? Uh, Leon, what's gonna happen to us? Don't worry. We got into this mess, we can get out of it. Say it, but we're sandwiched, all right. Quick, in that cabin. <laughs> Leon. Small world, eh? Well, I see that the president's equipped his daughter with ballistics too. How rude! And I don't believe there's any relevance with my figure and my standing. Who are you? Oh, oh, excuse me, your highness. Perhaps the young lady might want to introduce herself first before asking someone his name. Her name's Ashley Graham, the president's daughter. Is she... well, you know. Don't worry. She's cool. Eh, never mind. There's supposed to be some kind of obvious symptom before you turn into one of them anyway. <gasps> Look! 
Ashley, upstairs. Okay. It's game time. Vamos. Looks like they're backing off. So, what do we do now? The bridge I crossed to get here is out. So I guess we have no choice but to keep moving. I forgot something. You guys go on ahead. Lewis. Hey, senorita. Got a light and some smokes to go with it to make my day? Where is the sample? Okay, we skipped the foreplay. As a matter of fact, I was just going to get it. Where's the love, baby? Sounds like fun to me. Just hurry up. Okay, lady. Where do you stand on all of this? Exactly what kind of group are you working for? There are some things in the world better off not knowing. This is one of them. <laughs> Fine. I can take a hint. I don't care who you are. As long as you get rid of that old man and his religious friends. You better stay outside. Ashley, go hide. Yeah. Luego. side of the bridge. Yeah. I've got something for you guys. Uh, what? Oh, shit. I must have dropped it when I was running away from them. Dropped what? A drug that'll stop your convulsions. Look, I know you're carriers. You've been coughing up blood, right? Yeah. And you? Yes. Damn it. The eggs have hatched. We don't have much time. What are you talking about? I have to go back and get it. Let me come with you. No. You stay here with Leon. He is better with the ladies. I'm sure. Why are you... It makes me feel better. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> I was starting to wonder when you might notice us. Who are you? Me llamo Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellan of this magnificent architecture. I have been honored with the prodigious power from the great Lord Sadler. I've been expecting you, my brethren. No thanks, bro. 
My, my. We've got a feisty one. If you care for your own well-being, I suggest you surrender yourself and simply become our hostage. Or, Mr. Scott, you can give us the girl because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. You can die. I'm never turning into one of them. Never. Got that right. We'll find a cure. Here's what I know so far. Osmond Sadler's cult is known as Los Illuminados. They've resurrected some sort of parasitic organism they call Las Plagas. That's all my organization knows for sure. Though Sadler's occult activities seem worthy of investigation. The Salazar family, Castellans for generations, possess the ability to control Las Plagas. The organization's hypothesis is that a unique frequency of sonic wave sensed only by the parasites is used to control them. The same principle used in dog whistles. This was inferred through the analysis of a tissue sample we retrieved. The tissue contained an organ presumably used for sensing sound waves. I've seen cult members carrying ceremonial rods, and I wonder if they emit these sounds. Of course, this is purely theoretical. The organization needs samples of the parasite to confirm or disprove these theories. That is the main objective of my mission, and the only way to prove my loyalty to the organization. The opening moves in this chess game have been played. There's no turning back now. You all right? I'm fine! Leave me alone! Ashley, wait! <gasps> surprise but I'm afraid it's Ashley we need not you mr. Kennedy if you don't need me then get off my back old man <gasps> did you say old man mr. Kennedy it might come as a surprise but I'm only 20 years old so you're just like all the others a puppet of the parasites surely you don't think I'm the same as those diminutive ganados the parasites, the plagas, are slaves to my will. I have absolute control. Well, I really don't give a damn. Rain or shine, you're going down. Get rid of our American friend. Among all the people involved in this, Luis Serra has the least entanglements. He works for no organization, preferring to move on his own. I'm the one who told the organization of his importance. I did it because I like him. His history betrays an enthusiasm I once shared. It was a stroke of luck that I happened to intercept his email for help. It seems he can't trust the police. So he sent the email to an old friend from college. He must have thought his friend was still alive. At any rate, that's how I managed to find him. Apparently, he's been conducting his own investigation of the cult while doing research on Las Plagas. A brilliant scientist. He's accumulated a pile of data and pieced it all together. Must be why Sadler hired him. Hmm. Too bad Sarah's snooping has aroused his suspicion. When I told him who I was, he practically begged to be taken into custody. He needed protection. He said, I have no love for Las Plagas or this stupid cult I want out. I just want peace and quiet again. I ordered him to bring me a Master Plaga specimen, a sample for evidence. Looks like he's one of the few people whom Sadler actually trusts. Tracking him down and getting my hands on the sample shouldn't be difficult. 
I doubt the cult will take kindly to his escape, though. I'll have to guide this along if I want it to go smoothly. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry, but following a lady's lead just isn't my style. Put them up now. Advice, try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. Leon. Long time no see. Ada. So it is true. True? About what? You, working with Wesker. I see you've been doing your homework. Why, Ada? What's it to you? Why are you here? Why'd you show up like this? <laughs> See you around. Ada! Luis has succeeded in recovering the sample. He's waiting in the castle. Get in contact with him ASAP. Understood. And that U.S. government lapdog, Leon. If you do happen to encounter him, put him out of commission. We can't let him interfere with our plans. He has no idea what's going on. He's nothing we need to worry about. He's a survivor of Raccoon City. We can do without the extra distraction. Take him out. <sighs> Leon. Leon, I'm sorry, but I can't be seen with you. Leon! I got it! I have the sample. You serve me no purpose. Sadler! My boy Salazar will make sure you follow the same fate. Stay with me, Lewis. I am a researcher hired by Sadler. He found out what I was up to. <laughs> Don't talk. Here. It should suppress growth of the parasite. The sample. Sadler took it. You have to get it back. Lewis! Lewis! Unfortunately, a bit too late. Did you retrieve the sample? No. Sadler has it. Hmm. There will be another time. Have you had a chance to eliminate Leon? Not yet. If that's the case, then maybe we can capitalize on his little lucky streak. Take advantage of the distraction he is causing for Sadler and his followers to retrieve the sample. about near-death experience. Ashley, get out of there! Go ahead, go ahead. 
Leon! Ashley! <laughs> you did good. I'm sorry if I was... Oh, don't worry about it. Come on, let's move on. I think you've lived long enough. Let's see if you can survive this time. Ashley. Leon! <laughs> Mr. Kennedy. Don't you know when it's time to throw in the towel? Satisfying sound of one's impalement. Don't fall for this old trick. How dare you! No more games! Kill him! Kill! Quickly! We shall prepare for the ritual! that Salazar is having difficulty taming the American pig. Salazar had his chance. Krauser, go get the girl. Oh, and uh, dispose of the swine while you're at it. Consider it done. Join us, Mr. Scott Kennedy. You again. The sacred rite that's about to begin at this tower shall endow the girl with magnificent power. She will join us, become one of us. This is no ritual. It's terrorism. Isn't that a popular word these days? Not to worry. We've prepared a special ritual for you. Respects towards your impressive and stubborn will, Mr. Kennedy.
monsters. Guess after this, there'll be one less to worry about. Need a ride, handsome? <laughs> okay. some business to take care of. See you later. <sighs> Women. Ashley. Just hang in there, Ashley. I'm coming for you. This is Leon. Request backup. I repeat, request backup. Damn. Leon. You okay? Come on, let's get out of here. Looks like this is it. Oh, it stinks. Sure does. No way, Leon. Way? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? I knew you'd be fine if you landed on your butt. You... What is this? Come on, let's go. I can feel them growing ever so strongly inside you. Sadler! <laughs> Perhaps you can resist, but you cannot disobey. Come to me, Ashley. Already begun. What's the news on our friend Leon? He's not making it easy. The sample? Sadler's got it. It seems he sniffed out our little game. Perfect. Just so we understand each other clearly, I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, I will kill you. Is that so? You know, I met Wesker long before you. We'll see soon enough if you did. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Quite a jolly mess he's made, that Leon. But all for the better. Sadler's people have fallen into a panic. Their destruction is only a matter of time now. Once he gets Ashley back, his job will be finished. He'll no longer be a factor. No, I'm leaving Leon to Krauser. Hurry up and retrieve the sample. Maybe you forgot, Wesker. I don't always play by your rules. <laughs>
time, comrade. Krauser. I died in the crash two years ago. Is that what they told you? You're the one who kidnapped Ashley. You got John Quick, as expected. After all, you and I both know where we come from. <laughs> What do you want? Hmm. The sample Sadler developed, that's all. <laughs> Leave Ashley out of this! Oh, I needed her to buy Sadler's trust in me. Like you, I'm American. Got her involved just for that? in the red dress. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> you may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? You knew each other? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here. Maybe some other time. Ashley. What is that? Is that it? Where's Ashley? Do you really want to know? She's beyond that gate. But you'll need three insignias to open it. What are you gonna do, Krauser? There's one in the north, and the other in the east. And let me guess. You got the last one. It pretty much means you're on a tight leash. Sounds like you thought this one out pretty well. What do you intend to do restoring Umbrella? To bring order and balance to this insane world of ours. A psycho like you can't bring order or balance. You don't seriously think a conservative mind can chart a new course for the world, do you? Two down, one more to go, Krauser. <laughs> we'll see about that. Completely, Krauser. Prepare for your death, Leon. Jack Krauser has been the subject of extensive study and research by the organization. His skills and personality have been tested both on and off the battlefield. If he weren't the best, he would become a liability that would jeopardize the rest of us. 
My conclusion? He's a great soldier. No more, no less. As long as he's well compensated, he shouldn't cause any problems for us. If he does start to get restless, I can take care of him. I've studied his combat style and can deal with that arm of his if necessary. Krauser answers directly to Wesker, and it was Wesker who decided that Krauser should be sent to spy on the cult. He also decided to send me along. I wonder if it wasn't to keep an eye on Krauser. No doubt, Krauser has already fallen to the temptation of Las Plagas and the power they represent. This could have dire consequences for the organization. On some level, however, this may be a necessary development, as his role is to disrupt this farce of a play. That said, the stage and its players will ultimately come crashing down in the end. Bad luck for him. But he'll play the patsy in the end and take the fall for all of us. That's why I need to make sure things keep going exactly as they are. Verifica la presión de esa That's what I call backup. My name's Mike. You looking for firepower, you come to the right place. Report. Time is almost up. Krauser's dead. Really? Hmm. Leon doesn't die easily. That's fine. We can use him to clean up Sadler for us. We'll let them fight it out. Neither one of them will manage to come out unharmed. Easier said than done. Either way, it's your job to clean up what's left of them when the fight is over. Don't forget who is running the show. Whatever happens, we can't let either of them live to see tomorrow. Our goal is to retrieve the sample. Take out anything that might interfere with our plans. Get out of here, drinks are on me. Yeah, hey, I know a good bar. Mike! 
I'll make sure you're the next to go, Saddler. Leon, you okay? Yeah. We have to get that parasite out of your body. Yeah. But before that, I gotta save Ashley. Fine. Let's split up. I'm sorry. I jumped the gun when I reported you dead to Wesker. Hmm. Think of all the paperwork I would have to fill out if you were to show up alive. That's a large thing you have there. But I don't like it when men play rough. Leon S. Kennedy, perhaps the most essential part of this mission. This story wouldn't be complete without him and his formidable survival skills. He has what it takes to survive against overwhelming odds. I've seen him do it before. And he's improved since then. Practically a genius. He has smarts and he knows how to use them. On top of that, his service as a government agent has toughened him up. All work behind the scenes to make him think he's the primary player here. Though it may be naive of me to think that'll be easy. Considering the involvement of both Sadler and Krauser, the possibility of unforeseen problems is there. But I need him in a supporting role for me to achieve my goals. I'll do whatever it takes to keep him in his place, and make this all go smoothly. Of course, his role didn't exist at all until a few months ago. Back then, my role was much simpler too. But that was before the President's daughter was abducted and Leon was dispatched alone to find her. Talk about a major script revision. I don't think I need to worry. Leon's been through worse and always comes up smelling like roses. His consistent luck is part of the reason why I have absolute and unshakable faith in my vision of what's in store for him. You'll soon harbor an awesome power. Yet it seems you would rather choose death. I'm taking Ashley back, whether you like it or not. Ah, oh, the audacity of youth. Let's 
Go! Thank you. This is going to be hard to explain at customs. This hunk of junk? I, I don't know about this, Leon. There's only one way to find out. You operate. Sure you want to do this? Yeah. All right. Here goes nothing. How are you feeling? Like a million bucks. I thought you were gonna die. All right, guess I'm up. You okay? I don't know about you, but I think it's time we go home. Something's not right. Ashley, you stay here. Ada! Better try a new trick, cause that one's getting old. You okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think you know. The American prevailing is a cliché that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of clichés. Ada, stand back! Use this! Sorry, Leon. Hand it over. Ada, you do know what this is. Hmm. Don't 
worry. I'll take good care of it. Ada! Gotta go. If I were you, I'd get off this island too. She really pushed it. Here, catch. Better get a move on. See you around. Very cute. Let's go home. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. It wasn't easy, but I'd say the mission was a success. Getting my hands on the sample was my initial objective, after all. But... I've sent Wesker a different present, just as the organization ordered. Pretending to work with him was entertaining. Albert Wesker. I wonder where he's headed next. Something tells me this whole affair has just been a taste of what he's got in store. To him, Umbrella represented power. He used it to hide behind while he made plans of his own. And now the umbrella's been folded. With the sanctuary of their old umbrella ruined, those in power struggle to erect a new one. They are aware of their own crookedness and deceit as they engage in their personal war of light and darkness. That's why Wesker will stop at nothing in opening his new umbrella. The giant pharmaceutical corporation S maintains medical and drug facilities the world over. We know for certain that Wesker has been in contact with them following Umbrella's demise. There's no doubt we'll next hear from him there. The organization must remain vigilant. But Wesker's not stupid. He knows exactly what the organization is thinking. He and I still have time to continue our little game of cat and mouse before the next move is played. This mission may be over, but the battle is just beginning. <laughs> <laughs>